What's going on everyone? Austin John Place here and today I'm going to be going over how you can get all of the Galarian birds, Galarian Articuno, Galarian Zapdos, and Galarian Moltres in Pokemon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra. So as soon as you start up the game, you're going to have to do your legendary clue and legendary clue number three is going to be talking about the legendary birds. And all you really have to do to initiate this quest is go to the bird tree. It says when the sun reaches its zenith, have no idea what that means. For me, I just went here, it was daytime, it worked. I don't know, make sure it's day. <laughs> Make, try noon. I'm not really too sure to be honest with you. What's going to happen is the three Galarian birds are going to be in three different areas of all of Galar. It's going to say here, the bird of outrage dashed off to the wild area. The bird of black flew to the Isle of Armor. The bird of purple set off across the crown tundra. So yes, that means that one of them is in each of the three main areas. And I actually think that's pretty neat. And these are going to be sort of pseudo roaming beasts. First, we're gonna go after Articuno because it has Uno in the name. The exact way to get Articuno to spawn in, I'm not really too sure, but I'm gonna let you know what worked for me. I went to the snow side slope. I basically fast traveled to where Reg Ice is, right? And now I'm just gonna take my bike and we're gonna ride up the mountaintop. You'll know that the quest is active because you'll hear the Articuno cry when you arrive. And I just heard it again. That's a good sign. Keep riding up the mountain. And boom! There's a Galarian Articuno. Now, I don't know why this worked for me. Some people said that it works for them coming from the cave entrance to the north. Some people said that it worked coming from the entrance to the south. But for me, just I fast travel to where Reg Ice is and it shows up and I'm good. Now, back here, you could drop down a save because you have to guess which Articuno it is. The secret is that it's going to appear as though it's three Pokemon. One flaps its wings, that forward one. And did you keep track of it? I think I did. I think it's this one. Nope, I was wrong. It flew off. If you get it wrong, you can pull up the save or instead just go back down to the Reg Ice Shrine. You'll hear Articuno cry again. And now we're just gonna zoom me up the mountain. Nope, don't see it flying on the left. It's not at the perch point. Oh, there it is. I beat it. All right, so let's try to pay attention again. Oh, it was slower this time. You? Yes. So if you, kept, if you guess it right, the other ones are going to disappear. You could drop down another save right here, and then it's going to attack you. No? Yep, there it is. Now the Galarian birds... <clears throat> they cannot be caught shiny. So don't even try. There's no reason to saw free set or anything else. So the battle against Articuno is not going to be an easy one. So the reason we dropped down the save there is because I do recommend making it nighttime. Because if it's nighttime, you can throw Dusk Balls, and Dusk Balls are more effective than using Ultra Balls. Articuno has a base catch rate of three, meaning that it um, Dusk Balls at one HP while paralyzed takes 18 Dusk Balls. The problem is, is that during the entire battle, it's gonna be hailing, and the hail damages Articuno because it's a psychic type. It's psychic and flying, it's not an ice type anymore. So. You're in a real tough spot here. I dropped down the save and I want to see if I have any Pokemon on my team that can change the weather when I swap them in. Let's see if I have any Pokemon with the Drizzle ability. Yeah, I have a Politoed. Let's see if I have any Pokemon with the Drought ability. Yes, Torkoal, beautiful. The first thing I want to do is I want to throw a Politoed out. That way Politoed is going to be changing the weather from hail to rain. Drizzle, change the weather. Beautiful. So now I could swap in Mew, do my Thunder Wave, and then get its health down a little bit. I don't want to get it down all the way, 
So like, I know that the weather is gonna last for five turns. And I could always keep track of that by hitting the info button. See where it says rain, turn four out of five? That means I have four turns left of that. So within those four turns, I need to swap Torkoal in to change the weather again. So let's uh, Thunder Wave Articuno, and I'm gonna do a single ice beam to get its health down. Perfect. I have two turns left of rain, so this turn I wanna throw a Pokeball, or a Dusk Ball, more appropriately. Nope, no luck. And now I want to swap in Torkoal to change the weather again. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and forth, always changing the weather. That way hail never comes back and Articuno doesn't get damaged. Of course, when I say change the weather, I don't mean to sandstorm. So between sun and rain, I'm good. Of course, I could just give those TRs to Mew, but I'm being lazy. This is my last turn of harsh sunlight, so I need to swap in Politoed again. Critical capture. Nice. Critical capture for the win. Yeah, that actually didn't go so well because uh, Politoed and Torkoal kept getting knocked out. You caught Articuno, one of the legendary bird Pokemon from the Clue. You jotted down. Articuno was caught in the Crown Tundra. Beautiful. We're gonna get a phone call. Peony is gonna say, good job, now go get the other ones. Yep, that's exactly what he did. Just like he, what he did with the Reggies, cool. For our next Pokemon we're going after, it's gonna be Zapdos. And Zapdos is going to be in the base game wild area. I'm just gonna go to the meetup spot and heal up my Pokemon real quick. Cause there's this lady right here who loves to heal Pokemon. And I don't know if you heard, but soon as we showed up, we heard the sound of Galarian Zapdos. And if you look right over there, you can see it just kind of chilling there. Problem with Galarian Zapdos is that it's a Chocobo and it's stupid fast. So it kind of like has somewhat of a predictable pattern and you can like try to cut it off a little bit to save a little bit of time. But as you see, he is a zoomy boy. But my buddy Johnstone said to fly from East Lake Axwell, which keep in mind resets the location and boom, it shows up right in front of you. So if we predict that right, that it's going to be running to the right, we should be able to catch it no problem. I'm also going to save right beforehand, because now I have Articuno. Oh, it's already over there. I don't know if it's predetermined or if I'm influencing it at all. Nope, now he's over there. So maybe he just spawns in a random areas. So you just got to spam fly to East Lake Axwell. He's still over there on the left, on the right again. You know what? We're just gonna go catch him the regular old fashioned way by going zoomies. Now, uh, <laughs> he's gonna be a little bit far away from you. So we do that and then we cut him off on the left. I wonder if the Zapdos has a predetermined route. Nope, it just pulled a 180. And I think I'm about to touch it, so I'm gonna save real quick. Come on, Did, was that it? Did I run over? Yep, ran over another Otta. Got him. Look at that Chocobo boy. Now, I don't know if there's anything special about Galarian Zapdos. You know, Articuno, you had to worry about the hail or whatever else, but let's just start false swiping it down. All right, so I already found a problem. It knows reversal. And reversal is a move that the lower its health is, the more powerful that attack is gonna be. So if it's down to one HP, it can one-shot anything. In addition, it's doing a move that lowers my defense, so that's not good either. So now it's paralyzed on one HP. Let's go for our Dusk Balls. And it has focus energy. Man, this thing is trying to sweep me. <laughs> trying to sweep the whole team. Actually, if I'm looking at its moveset, I think most of its attacks are fighting type. So if we were like, I don't know, a ghost type Pokemon, we wouldn't get hit by anything. All right, so I'm going to close the game and I think I still have my level 100 Golurk or my Chandelure. You encountered a wild Zapidos. Rapido Zapido. All right, so we'll Thunder Wave, we'll get its HP down to one and then a CNC is in reverse zones can do like nothing to me, great. Two shakes, three shakes, nice. 
That was early. That was like the fifth ball. So now that's Articuno and Zapdos. So now it's going to be time for us to go ahead and get Moltres. Moltres is going to be flying around the Isle of Armor. And from what I've seen, if we go to the Fields of Honor, we have a high chance that Moltres is just going to be like flying right there. Listen for the cry. So if you fly to the train station, you're going to see Moltres flying and chilling over there. So what you should do is head straight to the dojo, cross the bridge, and you're going to want to stand right after this patch of grass. Get off your bike, move your camera away, get a wide angle, and whistle right as Moltres is above you, and now this is where you're going to drop down your save. And boom, that's the encounter. All right, it is raining. Mew, let's do a thunder wave. Oh, it's dark and flying. Okay, so it's Yelvaltal. Perfect. And we're just going to fall swipe this down. Let's see if there's anything we really need to worry about over here. Hurricane. Not too bad. Oh, it has a super effective move on me. That's not good. And its ability is Berserk, which raises its special attack. That could be bad. And Sword Pupper should help. I just realized how, how low I am, and I'm hiding Moltres' face. So now we just start spamming our Dusk Balls. First try. Ah, uh, never first try. Second ball. That was fantastic. Great. <laughs> and that's how you're going to go ahead and get yourself all three of the Galarian birds, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Now that we have all three of the clues, let's go talk to Peony. Legendary birds. Oh, I have to do the text for all three of them individually. Great. Do you say anything special for catching all three of them? Looks like you've reported all there is to report on Legendary Clue 3 and the Legendary Birds. Smash it. I'll mark the expedition done. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful on some tactics on getting your hands on the Galarian birds in Pokemon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra. If you found it helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.